How important is my independence to me? Without it, I wouldn't be anywhere. I don't want my vision to be a crutch in my life. Do what I need to do to be myself. I just want to be like everybody else. I want to do all these things and learn how to travel on my own and not have to depend on other people. What does it mean to be independent? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I would actually have to ask a question for that. How, how important are your eyes to you? My name is Courtney England. My name is Joshua Froggy. My name is Nelson Nava. Hi, I'm Priscilla Jimenez. My name is Robbie. My name is David Ryder. My left eye, I got hit in the eye with a football by my little brother and he damaged it, so I can't see out of my left side. My right side is depleting on its own. I went blind at 16, and I've been totally blind for three years. I'm partially sighted. Um, I can see enough to see big objects, general objects. You know, back home, it's like I wasn't allowed to go outside. I couldn't vacuum, I couldn't mop or sweep. I didn't have many opportunities to really expand on my knowledge of living on my own. I felt like if I stayed home, I wouldn't, I wouldn't grow. So what if I tell you I may not be asked for much But I still need to say The Hatland Center is a residential transition program for people who are blind and visually impaired. My goal was to be able to travel somewhere, you know, anywhere I wanted to go, I could be like, hey, I want to go here, all I got to do, you know, figure out the route and go there. Um, well, I want to learn um, more technology, more computer skills, and freshen up on my braille. I chose to come to Allen because I wanted to be more independent, and I wanted to do more, um, to do more for myself. So I made a choice and I made a decision to come here. First week, you're just you're bombarded with things. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. You, you know, you're unpacking, you're, you're getting to know everybody. Everybody's coming by, how are you? You're the new person. The first day, um, I got greeted by a couple of people already and they were pretty friendly. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's, it's great. No offense to sighted people, but it's like, you know, us blind people like always like, got this instant connection. That really threw me because I've never had so many friends at one time. The classes that we provide at the Hatland Center are orientation and mobility, which is travel training, adaptive technology, financial management, living skills, which includes cooking, cleaning, and care of clothing. And, and try to run your, run your finger across it and, you know, and, and it won't make any noise, and that's because it's still kind of greasy. So just be aware that, that this kind of fish has bones. Okay. What makes Hatland Center unique is the individualized instruction, the one-on-one -on -one instruction that we get to do with the students. Um, you know, it, that's, that's in their own home. It is, you know, it, it follows real life. The Hatland Center setting of a real apartment complex provides opportunities for students to have real problems happen so that when they leave here, they've been really living on their own. I think it's like kind of like a wake up call kind of type thing because like, you know, you're out on your own and you know, something is telling you, you know, you need to be responsible. You can't be messing up or doing anything stupid. Being an adult is actually much different. Uh, being responsible for yourself. You can't blame the dog anymore. Kind of intimidating at first being out on your own. You know, no mom's home cooking or stuff like that. I don't know, it can sometimes feel a little lonely because my family's not here, my family's hundreds of miles away. You have to basically budget your money around what you need. And if you don't do that, you could be broken a matter of seconds and next thing you know you can't pay your rent. Classico is a really good brand um, and they're, re they're pretty, pretty good priced. Uh, most of the time they're about, sometimes you get like two for five bucks once a month. It's difficult sometimes. I've been in spots where I'm like, oh man, uh, it's about the 14th or the 15th of the month, and uh, I'm broke. And I'm dwindling on food. So 
notes D, and then you bar, remember it's the, the seventh fret on the fourth. So in order to do that, this finger has to go to the fourth string. You have to you suck in as much information as you can. What have I accomplished? Uh, I guess more travel skills. My travel skills is pretty great. I walk around like if I can see. I can make stuffed mushrooms. I can make sauteed mushrooms. I can make bacon. Uh, two days of the week, I have to walk to the bus, take the bus to BART and the BART into the city, and then walk to work. And I can also make chicken. I can bake it and I can grill it on the contact grill. For daily living skills, I was told all these little secrets to basically manage a kitchen, you know? I can make sausage. I can make scrambled eggs. I can make an omelet. I've learned using my email, sending emails. I can make some steamed white rice, man. That's bomb. I'm learning what I wanted to learn in the first place, which was my independence. I want to be able to live my life and not be able to depend on somebody. And I, I don't want to have to, you know, I don't want my vision to be a crutch in my life. Independence is very important to me because without it, wouldn't be anywhere. Well, there's really no excuse for someone with a disability to not be independent like everybody else and I just want to be like everybody else. You're, you're free, I mean, you're free to do what you wish. I walk with my head up high, my chest out, I mean, chin up. Never thought I could do that blind. I want to go to college. I want to be a translator for the UN. I'm planning to go on a big trip out of the country to Egypt and Italy. I want to be hopefully a successful musician and a psychologist. If you put forth the effort, you can do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm.